Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the build I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. The Revell 66 Chevy Fleet Side Pickup. These are the, the parts brews that are included with the kit except for the chrome and the clear one. So I jumped into this uh, Revell 66 Chevy Fleet Side Pickup Truck Kit and the uh, build's been going pretty quickly. I haven't done any updates so far but uh, I've got all the parts in, in primer. We got the engine all together and detail painted. I just brushed on some Model Master Chevy engine orange and then uh, brushed painted the details on that. I've got the other engine parts painted and detailed. I've got the chassis in black primer and I've done the exhaust system in gunmetal and silver and the uh, shocks in yellow and a bit of red up here and some uh, gunmetal and silver just to highlight it. I'll dust it up and dirty it up and weather it up a little bit. Uh, before I put it together. I've got the interior pieces and the body in uh, Rust-Oleum 2X white primer and I just have to choose my uh, blue paint now and uh, craft paint and uh, airbrush that on. Um, the interior will be a two-tone white and blue and the exterior is going to be blue with the, uh, the white roof. So uh, stay tuned, it's uh, coming along pretty quickly. I'm hoping to finish this up soon and then I'll be starting the next group build, the uh, Bandai group build coming up here in March. Okay, well I'm back and I've got the uh, body in paint. I used the Craft Smart bright blue acrylic paint and uh, it went on well. Took a few coats and I did the salt technique so I scraped the salt off. Got a little bit of rust around the edges. I got the engine and the uh, differential and the axle uh, mount, uh, the uh, drive shaft mounted. And weathered up a little bit on the bottom, a little uh, dusty and dirty. The spare tire mounted on there, not using the white walls. I got the uh, wheels and tires mounted and dirtied and dusted up a bit. Put the duckles on, as you can see. Um, got the interior tub is done. And uh, so that'll sit in there. I've tried to uh, dry fit the chassis up into the uh, body of the truck, the cab here, and the engine is uh, a little bigger than what it wants to go through the hole here, so I'm having a little difficulty with that. So uh, I haven't seen anybody else having that issue, so I'll uh, try again uh, working on that. Okay, I'm back and I've got the 66 Chevy Fleetside pickup finished. A little bit of uh, rusting and weathering on the uh, sides and on the bumpers and that. Came out pretty well. Everything fit pretty well. That takes a little finagling here and there to get the chassis uh, up into the, and the body on the chassis. And uh, but everything, the bumpers, everything seemed to glue on well. The decal on the bed. The uh, rims uh, are a little um, wide. For the uh, tires. The, the wheel backs had to be sanded down to make them narrower before I glued them onto the, the rims so that the tires would fit on and they're still a little bit wider than the tires actually. Um, that was an adjustment. There was an adjustment on the hood I had to make to get it to fit properly. I'll have pictures of the hood on here at the end of the video. Uh, the only thing I didn't put on was the lower radiator hose. I uh, just figured it wasn't worth the effort trying to get in there to do that. And a quick look at the at the bottom. There's pictures, of course, of uh, the bottom and inside the cab uh, previously. A little uh, rust, a little bit of dust and dirt on it. Uh, a little bit shiny. I didn't want it too badly uh, worn out. I think I may have a little too much rust on it on the edges there, but uh, that's okay. You never can tell how much where you know where rust is going to end. The decals here for the Chevrolet didn't go on very well, so I just uh, painted those on. I painted the bumpers on the grill white and the black wash uh, craft paint on the grill and just painted the letters in with a, a fine brush and some black craft paint. Stay tuned, I have a few pictures to follow. <laughs> 